Good morning. I just got my period. <laughs> but I got off work early today just for me so that we can go get some hand pulled noodles that I've seen on TikTok and I wanted to try them so bad. They're like flat noodles and they're like handmade. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I found a place in Miami and I can't wait to show you guys. This is the fit today, by the way. The top is from Revolve, but like from two years ago. The sweats are from Aritzia. They're probably my favorite sweats ever. They're the wait 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 they're the super world collection i'm obsessed with them the quality is so good and my little purse that i refuse to to change anytime soon even though it doesn't really match with this outfit whatever hi queen ah, he scared me okay <laughs> it's so hot i don't know why i wore this shirt i'm wearing my hair natural i can't remember the last time i did that cute girl I haven't worn my hair natural in a long time and I'm nervous about how it's gonna dry. I already look like a little rat. <laughs> what you get, what you get? A pad thai. A pad thai. I got this. <laughs> I forgot the name already. It was a Chinese chow fun. Chinese chow fun with beef. Mmm, looks good. Damn, this is fire. Is it better than the one at China? No. <laughs> to you. They look like so soft. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> They're so soft, they just break off. I just like choke, almost choke on a piece of meat. <laughs> They're chewy. It's past the point of just food being hot. It's like so hot. Even if you blow on it? Mm -hmm. In the comments, let us know if you guys like pad thai. <laughs> the comments are like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like lethargic, but look how my hair dried. <laughs> I feel so weird. Like I don't cute. know. It looks really short. It looks like I'm like all my hair is falling out. No, so looks... you look cute. It's Friday. It's Friday. She's off work, and we're gonna take a nap. Should we go somewhere? <laughs> she wants to, but she doesn't want to. I want to, but I have cramps. I'm Let's go get a little. And I'm like tired. Whenever I get my period, like I'm like so freaking tired. All right, we're gonna take a nap. Good night, oh, yeah. guys. <laughs> Mateo's hair is finally long enough to brush to the side just a little bit even though throughout the day it gets like crazy again guys a farmer's market just opened near our house like literally walking distance like downstairs like downstairs and I'm so freaking excited about it this is just that we got it's a green juice if you know us you know that we're literally obsessed with the farmer's market we go every Sunday and now that there's one here like my life is made realistically I'm literally not gonna fall asleep so I'm gonna read. My girlfriend got me this book. Oh, so cute of her. I have two here. I have It Ends With Us and Verity, both by Colleen Hoover. I'm gonna read this one because my girlfriend got it for me. As you guys know by now, maybe, I am a bookworm now and I need to put on my, my glasses. These are blue light glasses, but we'll pretend. A lot of people have been asking me to update them about the books that I've read. So I, I was reading A Little Life. That book shattered my heart and will stick with me forever. Like I feel like every book that I've read, I've only read one more after that. <laughs> But I feel like every book that I will ever read after that just like won't compare to the feeling that that book gave me even though it's like it literally has so many trigger warnings it was just beautifully written and like it just made me feel so many things and i will forever remember that book after that i read the seven husbands of evelyn hugo oh my god you guys can't see my eyes it was really good too i was just like Ugh, nothing will ever compare to a little life so anyway i'm kind of upset that i read that as i started my reading journey again like like one of the very first books because it was a really really hard book to read i'll keep you guys updated on these i really really want to start a book club like a physical book club like have my friends over i don't have many friends or many friends that read i just want to get it like a group of people and just like have them over and talk about a book once a week maybe i'll have a virtual one. <laughs> Munching on each other. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? What happened? Okay. <laughs> it's a face. I am ironing my rain top. 
Okay. <laughs> we are going to Ikea. I'm waiting for Valeria. She's inside of Starbucks getting her drinks. I'm reading my little book still. Actually, I didn't read anything at all. I just didn't have the mental capacity. I was in so much pain and today I'm in even worse pain. It is day two of my period. I feel like I'm dying. I You can always tell by my face that it's that time of the month. And I put on this headband. This is from Jerf Avenue. I put this on because my hair is just so crazy. I woke up with the craziest hair because I left it natural. Today's Starbucks order. Oh my god, I didn't even know you were recording. <laughs> It scared me. I was like, why is she yelling at me? <laughs> Grande ice white mocha, no whipped cream, coconut milk, vanilla sweet cream cold foam, and an extra shot of espresso. All right, Mateo, tell us a joke. Why the sign dig himself and, and sand at the beach? Why? To get treasure. <laughs> when I saw a metal detector, I was like, he would love that. Like, if we took him, right? Oh yeah, I would love that. I've never done it before. He's like, he's like I wonder, he doesn't even know what we're talking about. You know what about. it is, a metal detector? Yeah. What is it? To find treasure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is you can find little treasures. Oh, OTD, babe. You I'm girl. My, my Zara shirt, I mean, not Zara, Aritzia, that I got in Boston. My Zara jeans, that I never ever wear. <laughs> and wow. my headband is from Jerf Avenue. Cute. And this one, Mr. Prince. Mr. Prince? Mr. Love Prince. Mr. Love Prince. Love Prince, you look so cute. We just went to Ikea for one thing, to organize Mateo's toys. And suddenly we're doing a whole room makeover. Her mom took him. We're gonna surprise him. New bed, new bedding, new everything. It's gonna be so cute. So we're at the mall to look for some bedding. Oh my God, we picked the absolute worst day to do this. I'm so exhausted, guys. I'm not only am I sore, am I my period? You guys know this. Look at my house already. The mess. The mess everywhere. We decided to redo Mateo's entire room, like get rid of his bed, get a smaller one because his bed is- I just think it's too big. I think he doesn't play in his room because he doesn't have any space. So I was like, I'm just gonna do redo the whole thing. I wish I would have shown you guys the before, but we're kind of in a rush because somebody's coming over to take apart the bed. So we already got rid of the mattress. I mean, the mattress is right there. We took it out. There was toys all over the place. There's still toys all over the bed. So this is the before. Okay, update. It is like- an hour later. And my house is just even messier now. Now there's an Sorry, echo in the room because it's went wrong. Now there's an echo in the room because now it's empty. Look at my house now. Progress. We took everything out of the room. Valeria's taking disco out right now. We just fed the dogs. Mateo's staying at her mom's house tonight because I really wanted to finish this room and like surprise him. So he's staying over there. We'll probably have to finish tomorrow. But this is a process so far. Her cousin's boyfriend came over and took apart the bed, which makes me very sad. This bed is from Pottery Barn. This is first bed, because he never had a crib, because I used to live with my mom. And I don't know, it's just so sentimental to me, but we got him a smaller one at Ikea. I got it at Ikea because I was like, I'm just gonna get him a cheaper bed since it's small, like he's not gonna be in that forever. This one I am gonna sell because I have nowhere to put it. I also didn't want to sell it because like when people come over they and they stay over, they stay in this bed. So now there's gonna be no guest room, but whatever, that's not those room. There's like some new stuff that I got at Target. I'll show you guys when everything is complete obviously because I can't now everything's all over the place this is how the room looks I think I'm gonna get rid of this table too it has stickers all over it I'll probably just donate it because he did all of this but whatever I'm gonna take everything down I got him all new decoration too because I had to get him a different size bed so I had to get him new bedding but this room was like filthy it's it is filthy I have to sweep I have to mop I have to clean look at these things on the wall I can't also I had to bring my lamp from my room because this room doesn't have any lighting. My room does, but it's not very bright, so I always use my lamp. But yeah, I had to bring it because we couldn't see anything. Come here, look me in my eyes. This is the face of someone who's really tired. We kind of finished Mateo's room, kind of. For the most part, we got the hard part done with the toys, like getting rid of toys and organizing them. That was like really really hard not even the furniture was so hard he had so much stuff so much like trash like kids love keeping random trash and it's like hard to like pick through that and be like okay this is meaningful to him and this is actually trash so that's what i had to do last night we went to sleep at like one in the morning i am so exhausted we built all the furniture and then when we finally built the bed we realized that there was no wooden planks like the 
frame or whatever holds the mattress wasn't included which we didn't know it's not like on the box they really need to make that clear so now we have to go back to ikea and get some wooden planks so that we can put the mattress up i also wanted to get mateo a new desk uh yesterday and then i was like i don't know if it's gonna fit we got so much new stuff so i put everything exactly how i wanted it and i was like okay there's a, sp a spot for like a little tiny desk i saw a little tiny one at ikea that i thought would be so cute for him to do his homework because right now he's doing it on the kitchen table and like a place that he can draw and stuff so i'm excited for him to start like actually using his room and enjoying it again it looks so cute. I think this is the cutest it's ever looked. So I'm excited to show you, but we're going to Ikea. I look like a witch right now. Okay, without showing you guys the entire room, I wanna show you the new cubbies that we got. We got a few more like storage things for Mateo. And I made him this little Pokemon one here because we have so many of them. And there's still some empty ones that I have to figure out things to put inside. But I know he's gonna love this. This is so cute with like all his Pokemon stuff. And these Pokemon cards that he made himself. <laughs> I thought they were so cute. You guys, we finally finished the room. It is Sunday, it is 6.25 p.m. and we finally finished. It's so cute though, I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait for Mateo to see. He's here, he's about to come up. I feel like his reactions are always anticlimactic, but... <laughs> but I know when he's excited. He thinks that I'm surprising him with a with a, a bean bag, and that's it. I told him this morning, I was like, hey, I have a surprise for you. He was like, it's a bean bag. <laughs> It's for him to come. I don't know why. I feel like I'm more excited than he will probably be just because I I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't went downstairs to get him, I guess. Him and I don't know if his her mom is coming in. What a blind thing! Oh, close your eyes. I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, <laughs> are you gonna walk around and look at it? Wow. Come sit on your new desk. Oh my god. You're gonna do your little cabinet. So pull it softly, softly. Come sit on your new desk. You got a whole new bed. Do you like your room? Yeah. <laughs> and the TV? Wait, you're playing with that Yeah. And do you not see that you put it on the wall? wall? And you have all this storage, your room is clean. You better keep it clean. Oh, you like that? The little Pokemon shelf? Pokemon shrine. <laughs> <laughs> your hoverboard's under the bed. It's cute, right? Came out cute. Hey, why my blue shelter? This is super I don't know. <laughs> and it looks bigger, right? Of course. <laughs> the balloon. Mateo, this is a super yeah, nice room. It looks like, it doesn't look like a little kid room. I think it does. No, I think it looks like a cute, like, like a, an age. Yeah. Like a little boy room, yeah. not like a baby. Yeah. Look, Mateo, you're blanking your match with your with your with your, with your, with your, with your Oh, is that a, an astronaut pillow? Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, that just made the the bed better. This looks like a pear. Okay. Yeah, it does. That's what I said. Let's go like shit. You actually have space to run. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. No, but he's excited. He likes. I know. <laughs> That's so cute! I love it! And suddenly this is my favorite room ever. Also guys, don't forget to subscribe. I love you! Bye! And I'm just gonna put it right here so I can watch the movie with us. No, no, come on, give me! Why? Can I watch the movie with us? Because I'm not gonna record the whole movie. Okay! <laughs> Bye, Augie!